Hey guys, my name is Scobie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a render queue for your Adobe Premiere Pro. By doing this, we're going to be able to set up multiple renders to happen one after another, so you won't need to constantly set up your render settings in Premiere Pro. By using this method, we're going to be able to do all of them at once. Now I should mention for this method, we are going to need a software called Adobe Media Encoder. Adobe Media Encoder is going to be what we're using to set up our multiple renders. Using this, we're going to be able to play, pause, we're going to be able to see, overview, and change settings of our renders. What we're going to be doing is coming to Premiere Pro and we're going to be exporting a project like normal by coming to File, Export Media. You can set up the settings you want. In this case, I just have it set up to do an audio track, but it doesn't really matter in this case. And we're going to be coming down to the bottom and instead of clicking Export like we normally would, what we're going to be doing is click Q and you can see there's going to be some tooltip text that's going to say add to Adobe Media Encoder Q. By clicking this we should open up Adobe Media Encoder if you don't already have it open it will have to open it up and then we will see our first item added to this queue. So this is the first thing Adobe Media Encoder is going to export from our actual project and as you can see all we need to do to start this is to click the start on the top but what we can do is set up multiple projects from multiple softwares in the Adobe suite to set up to do one after another. So what I'm going to be doing is coming back to Premiere Pro and I'm going to be just adding another item to this queue. So I'm going to be going to File, Export Media one more time and we're going to just change it to a H.264 format. I'm not going to be changing any of the settings for this example and I'm also going to be adding this item to our queue. So what this is going to do is it's going to stack our multiple items to our queue and we can see the different information about this being a waveform audio file and this being a H.264 file. So one of the great things about this is we can still click and change where we want to export our files to. We can change the file name and we can even change some of the export settings by coming to our presets, changing some of the different options and even getting a full settings Premiere Pro window so we can even change everything in here even after the fact of selecting our export in Adobe Premiere Pro. So this is a really, really nice tool. We can do a lot of different things with this. If we start our render right now, we can see our render is going to start. And one of the nice things is we can still come back to Adobe Premiere Pro, scrub around our timeline and still edit anything we need to edit. And we can also pause our render by coming back to the media encoder, clicking the pause button. And this is a feature we don't actually have inside Premiere Pro. So it's just another advantage of this. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you find these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.